How does it feel to finally be free? Ella Josephine Baker was born on December 13, 1903, in Norfolk, Virginia. She attended Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina. As a student, she challenged school policies that she thought was unfair. She graduated in 1927 as class valedictorian and then moved to New York City and began joining social activist organizations. In April 1960, Ella Baker returned to Shaw University, her alma mater, to organize student leader sit-ins. From those meetings, SNCC was founded. Ella Baker was also an advisor to the creation of the Mississippi Democratic Freedom Party, created to overturn the all-white Democratic Party delegation to the party convention. Her influence was reflected in the nickname she acquired, Fundy, a Swahili word meaning a person who teaches craft to the next generation. Ella Baker continues to be a respected and influential leader in the fight for human and civil rights until her death on December 13, 1986, her 83rd birthday. Ella Baker was remembered at the SNCC 50th Anniversary Conference held here at our very own Shaw University. She thought that she should support people, their ideas, and uh, move people forward. So I think that uh, today is a day to celebrate not only that, but that you need to reach your hand down to someone and support them bring them along the way. Uh, she told me a lot of stories. Good, bad, and different. She taught me a lot, but she did tell me a lot about the civil rights movement, and she would tell me when I was little some of the stories of people chasing her in cars and willing to kill her just because of the color of her skin. And as a kid, you know, that's obviously to anybody that's frightening. So I would say to her, How could you do that? How could you put your life on the line for that? And she would tell me that what kind of person would I be if I didn't stand up for what I believe in? So she made me understand that if you have a purpose in life, it's to stand up for what you believe in and tell others. Um, you know, that everybody asked, what are you going to be when you grow up? So she asked me, what did I want to be? And I told her that I wanted to be a doctor. And she said that when she was growing up in Littleton, uh, North Carolina, that black children weren't, couldn't be doctors. And she wanted to be a doctor, but she was told that she couldn't be one. So she instilled in me that you can be whatever you want to. And as I grow older, and I went to medical school, and then I graduated, um, it was because of her and the people that came before her and stood strong and died. We have a beautiful um, vase here with roses, and there are three dozen roses. And these roses, the significance of this is that it was actually sent uh, to Winston-Salem, to Raleigh, North Carolina, um, in honor of Ella Baker, who was one of the founders of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, um, Mary McLeod Bethune, and then Dr. Dorothy Height, who right now is ill, and certainly uh, we owe these ladies so much because they have given so much. They gave so much. And so these flowers were sent in their honor and certainly in honor of all of the other leaders of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee.